Hello guys, good morning. Uh, in this short video I want to address one thing that happens again and again, you know, all the time. And this is like this mind sickness called procrastination. And I'm <laughs> a recovering procrastinator and we all procrastinate in certain area of our life. Usually things that don't feel right or when we feel uh, the, the step is too big, it's very challenging, uh, so I completely understand. Alright, I'll give it a try. No! Try not! Do! Or do not! There is no try. And what, inspi what inspired this video was actually uh, that many of my clients, before they enroll or sign up for coaching, they usually say like, ah, yeah, but can we start in a month or something, some magical time, you know, 30th of February, but they never start. And I'm not mad at it or I don't want to point, uh, or my point is not to say that these people who don't start are bad, but I want to give you this example to actually motivate you and to rethink your approach to life because this is what I used to do as well and I see that it doesn't help me to progress or improve so anytime that somebody tells me oh, Daniel you know let's start in a month they often have the best intentions at their heart but they don't proceed so for example before hiring my coach that I worked with no, it was a big money investment, much bigger than what I charge. And, you know, just after doing, after taking that step, I was relieved because I, this decision was draining me because I, I was thinking for like one week, should I, should I, I don't have money. You know, all, all these kind of excuses or concerns. And... As I said, once I made these decisions, whether it's like do it or not to do it, it was a relief. So after, and this happened many times in my life, like also I have been thinking about leaving my job and starting coaching for two months at least. And after I made this decision to start coaching full time, it was much better than I could have ever imagined. So these are just two examples. And we see this in smaller scale, like for example, you know, the weather is like this. Should I go for a run, you know, but it's, it's too cold or whatever. It's very uncomfortable. So waiting for ideal situation never allows you to progress in life. The most important thing is just to start. Start with some small actions, five minutes action. So if I use the example with running once again, then this is a kind of habit that I developed through sports and that I use also now in business. You know, just start with very, very small action. And uh, for example, with running, if the weather is really bad, then just get out, you know. That's the first step, just getting out. If you don't get out, you cannot go run out for five minutes or one hour. Okay, I'm out. What now? Let's start running or moving. One minute, two minutes, five minutes. Boom, it's hour. Mm, I think I can go longer. It's 90 minutes, two hours, three hours. And I remember having a long runs like two years ago, when it was like minus 18, 20 degrees outside, well, really like blizzard, and I was running there. I came uh, <laughs> from these runs completely frozen, but I mean, if I didn't get out, I, I, I would not spend even five minutes there. And we, we do that all the time. So once again, don't postpone, uh, especially if you have like, some health issues or it is something that you have been thinking about for quite a long time just start or make a decision that's even better make a decision 
start or not start, do it or do not. But being in between, like with, you know, being in indecision doesn't help you, it just drains your energy. So you have a great day.